Hello again everyone, my name is Yogdog and welcome to another episode of Victoria 3. Uh, we're going to be continuing as the Japanese Shogunate. I'm going to be continuing to try and reform our nation. Um, we're kind of in a rough spot at the minute. We really need to enact agrarianism to really start to progress. And it will help me with my taxation capacity quite a lot. Uh, we do have railways which are starting to be built in quite a few areas. The Imperial Rule Party still is the major government party, but we're getting rare in actually uh, boosting the numbers of the Constitutional Reform Party, which are really the ones we need to work with a bit more here. So I think we're actually going to get rid of the Samurai. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I'm gonna keep going from there. Okay, we're gonna make sure the industrialists get the credit here because we want to try and keep them on side as much as we can. And we do want to. Ooh. That's not good. We want to erode the support of the Shogunate as much as possible. Just because they are blocking any of the laws which I would really like to pass. Uh, a 4% chance of agrarianism taking place is, is not ideal. Uh, so we need more transportation. Everywhere, basically. <laughs> So, continuing to get railways down is probably going to be very important here. In terms of our budget, uh, we've still got plenty of money in reserve, so I'm not too worried. To the point where I would maybe consider continuing to expand our construction sectors. Um, is there anything that I can do? <clears throat> My voice is quite bad as you can probably hear, I apologise. Is there anything I can do to cheer them up again? Uh, looks like they're happy again. Keeping the intelligentsia on side. So one of the main institutions I really want to pass uh, sorry, one of the main laws I really want to adjust is serfdom, and I need to get rid of it. But at a 7% chance, it's unlikely. And it looks like agrarianism just isn't going to pass at the minute. At least we are getting our railways down. The GDP per capita is still pretty low. Social Security, Closed Borders, um, hmm. The Samurai would be very much radicalised if I were to do this, but we're going to give it a go, Let's see if we can pass it. 32% is a decent chance, I need it to pass. Sure, I don't want to annoy the industrialists. Ooh, that's a lot less tank uh, tax we're going to be getting. Bessemer process, interesting. Should I go for? Should I go for society tech next? Yeah, let's go modern sewerage. Improve our construction again. Uh, right, we're not going to annoy the industrialists. So what are we missing now? 
We still need more transportation in quite a few areas. Some silk. Silk plantations are queued up. Hmm. So we are managing to get back to around about 10. Standard of living again. We need to continue improving that. Probably going to need more steel mills again soon. So transportation is now down to an acceptable cost and I don't think we can get opium, not at the moment. So I might go with some wheat farms instead, no some livestock ranches should be fine. Just need to make sure I've got enough food for for our pops. Minus 30k. God, we really need to. <laughs> we're, we're not gonna break out of the rut we're in economically for a while, I think. We are desperate to. Actually, something I haven't checked in a while. Is there anything I can improve here? Steel tools would be great. I am going to need more steel production though. Uh, anything in the journal? Steam engine time. I need motor industries to be improved. Uh, we can do that. So the problem now is steel cost. Like paper mills can go with sulfite bleaching. I need a ton more sulfur for that. Uh, I definitely think I go Bessemer process here. Conflicts in government. It's a for this monks, I think. Uh, public trams would massively increase the cost of transportation. But it would reduce the amount of labourers we need to fulfil uh, that service industry, so it's tempting. Iron mines could go up to use more coal, more tools, produce a bunch more iron. I think that would be a good idea. Uh, lead mines, we've already got cheap lead, I don't think there's any need to do that. Fishing wharfs, I need more clippers, so the shipyards would need to be expanded if I did go down that particular path, which uh, I'm not sure I want to at the minute. Alright. We're earning a bit of money in return again. GDP continues to rise. We've gone above one dollar per capita. Or one pound per capita. Would it be pounds? I mean, I know it's the pound sign, but is that used for everyone in the game? I'm assuming so. Either way, GDP per capita is improving. We've gone above one for the first time. Uh, market price is expensive for stuff like tea, glass, etc. So, But uh, fruits are the main one. Which, if I want to improve fruit cost, I need more rice farms. So we'll put some more agricultural buildings down. Uh, we've got another motor industry building, that's excellent. 
Uh, it's a shame we've been a bit unlucky with passing serfdom abolished so far. I think we need to drive up cost of transportation or well, engines. I'm wondering what the best way to do that is. Uh, I go for central archives first though. A couple more railways is one way of doing that, just to raise the amount we need. Uh, devout Standall. Yeah, we'll ignore it. That's fine for now. So we do have some additional expenses from Cyclone Relief. That will wear off fairly soon, I'd imagine. So construction goods are iron, wood, tools, fabric. None of them are particularly expensive by the looks of things. So with the initial railways built, and that's going to help with transportation. I think I'm actually going to continue expanding railways so I can get tram lines. And it means we have more people buying motor industries, which is what we want. Oh, buying engines. I may need to expand coal and wood production though at some point, especially coal. So I'll focus on doing that. Uh, we're holding steady under 2 million for radicals, and we're doing decently well for loyalists. Certainly better than I have done in previous runs. Uh, God. We really are having bad luck. We're having a lot of bad luck with passing wars. Still 34% chance though. GDP continues to expand. We're 27th in rank. We are 9th GDP. Italy actually overtook us. So our objective is to get ahead of Italy again. Prussia is not doing so well uh, GDP wise. Canada is uh, fully formed. Australia, not so much. Great Britain still controls Chile and parts of Argentina. And they expand their presence over in Africa as well. Interesting. Uh, let's go with... I'm going to walk see through our buildings again. And whether there's anything we want to swap out. I think we go do we, uh, we do go with public trams. That's fine. Uh, I don't think we need the lead mines to use condensing steam pump. Uh, not yet, anyway. Yeah, not really too much else I need to mess with. Uh, I guess I probably should get some food industries down at some point. Alright, 35% chance of success. Please pass, please. Okay, you're doing okay. Right, we put what trams passed. I think if we start getting universities down.
I can't get built universities, right? Yeah. Let's get four of them, and we've abolished serfdom. Excellent. So for now, that's going to allow us to maybe uh, start intervening elsewhere instead. Social security would be nice to do. Landed voting is easily the most popular at the minute. Appointed bureaucrats, home affairs, health system. I think we're going to go with public schooling. Continue improving relations with uh, with Russia. That'll do. Uh, taxation capacity is really bad in Kansai and Kanto. Our reserves are running out. We are getting there. Nearly 40 million GDP, so since the start of the game we've almost doubled. Level 20 coal mines. Uh, how do the coal mines here compare? 36th in the world. <laughs> so I would need explosives if I wanted to start using nitroglycerin. I don't think I can afford to do that just yet. Extra teachers. Plus 12% enactment chance. Sure, I'll take that. The gold fields in Hokkaido are depleted. I might queue these up anyway. Right, uh, bureaucratic shortfall. We should deal with that with the government agencies we've got queued up. We actually have more loyalists than we do radicals for the first time in a while. I'm assuming mainly because the standard of living increases. The main issue now though is money. We are a bit low. I might need to put a consumption tax on for a bit. Any goods we're really uh, low on? Mainly fruit. Paper is now expensive, so I think that's going to be something we focus on next. And there we go, plus 10% education access, plus 12.5% assimilation. Intelligentsia, the trade unions and the industrialists are all happy. Um, so we now have public schools. So I think we are going to be expanding our government significantly, because I need Uh, I need better education. So I think the next law we go for... Mm. 
It's probably going to be agrarianism. Uh, plus five percent aristocrats, plus twenty five percent capitalists. Hmm. Which one do the trade unions like? Both of them. We'll go with. Well, I need to get rid of isolationism first. So the industrialists like this, the trade unions and the industrialists like this. Let's go protectionism. The canvas of ideas, they need more paper. Uh, as much as I would like to do that, I need it to pass straight away protectionism. Which at 18.4% chance is not going to happen. So I think we're going to fail that one. So I actually have motor industries, but they need more money. I need the cash reserves to be at three quarters. Uh, we'll see if we can get there. Central archives is nice, and we did get there straight away. Uh, let's go where on the trap for innovation. I want steel railway um, cars. Still going to take four years to research, bro. So I think we just go for mechanized workshops this time around. Alright. I would like to take Russia and Hokkaido off them. Our GDP is rapidly expanding, but it's actually taking a bit of a dip. I wonder what's caused that. I think glass production needs to be expanded upon next. up to very high taxes for the minute. Eek. Alright, let's throw them, throw them in the clappers. So I want to get uh, Education 2 next. For that I'm probably going to need quite a bit more government building so any better taxes I can make or swap to uh, per capita taxation supported by free interest groups Proportionally supported by two. Only the Shogunate is against it, so I might try and go proportional taxation next. We can. Oh, God. We are dipping quite heavily economically here. I wonder what's causing it. Any more inventions? Uh, we did get sulfite pumping. I do need sulfur. I think we're going to do it. We'll get uh, four sulfur mines now. And... Yeah, we'll go sulfite for you. Let's go secular academia. We've already got three churches. A standardized filing system. Would use a lot more paper. So 
Paper is the expensive good again, though. in our debt now so I think once I've built these structures we're not going to be spending any money for a bit unless it's uh, like an emergency that said I do need more sulfur mines All right, we'll just get more mines down There we go, protectionism. We're actually way into our money now. So I think the next thing we do is... Oh, I need egalitarianism. Okay, well, I can't do that just yet. I need to get rid of traditionalism. I think we'll go interventionism next. So, I've got propagandists active, but no one can actually move over here, so... Kinda useless. Get rid of these two coal mines. And now we need to think about how we're going to sort out money here. Because construction goods are decently expensive. Uh, let's get rid of a decree as well. Let's get rid of road maintenance. Let's get rid of Encourage Agricultural, so that sorts that problem. So at 1 million, yeah, the, the interest is kind of sinking us. This is why I don't like using the debt too much. However, we, we are just breaking a profit again now. Uh, we are going to ignore the Shogunats. Okay, we got very lucky there. 16% chance that we passed interventionism. And that's immediately solved our money issues. It also means that I can start thinking about per capita, cap, uh, per capita taxation instead of land based. Alternatively, maybe something like wealth voting would be a good idea. So if I want proportional taxation, I need egalitarianism, which is this one here. So we're actually going to swap and try and get that next. And I'm just going to save up. I'm not going to build anything. I need to get rid of our deficit and build up a bit of a surplus. I think you need the US is at war with the... Oh. Oh no. Interesting. So that's a lot of divisions which the 
the UK is going to be bring, able to bring to bear, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Because <laughs> it has to actually transport them all over. Texas is part of the US, but Mexico still has large parts of the uh, western states. Up to California. Alright, well, this will be interesting. Okay, we still have inefficient taxation in quite a few areas. I'm going to need to invest in more government uh, infrastructure for sure. So I think... I'll get one more here in Kansai. So we're on the way to urbanizing. We're still a little bit off, but we're getting there. So I might reform and get rid of the peasants from the government here. Cannot be, okay. Maybe we won't mess with Batman. So I think what we want to do next is get education up to level 2, which in order to achieve that, I can never remember where it is, it's in the political ones. Uh, we want to put it in Kyushu. And Kanto. And that will help us get our tax as well. Okay, uh, the Constitutional Reform Party is still second. That's about a third of the vote, though. We are going to go to Education 2. And I think that'll be that for this episode. Once again, everyone, thank you very, very much for tuning in and watching this series. And I'll see you in the next one.